jumped out of my dreams Pretty eyes so wise and pristine I couldn't ask for more than the day you came to my door Open eyes cause I couldn't believe That you were right in front of me Feeling pushed right through my heart Fireworks lit right from the start Got me on cloud we have been down my mom's today, moving a lot of stuff out of the shed. It is Michelle's birthday. Happy Yay! Birthday. Happy birthday! And look who came in from California, Yay. Garrett. Yay! And look who's here from Bel Air. Yay! Yay. <laughs> a little, a little less of a drive. Right. <laughs> yeah. And we've got Gill's Pizza. That's what Michelle wanted for uh, her birthday dinner. So that's what we're eating, and it smells delicious. And oh, how gooey! <laughs> and greasy. Uh -huh. You guys are not going to believe this. We are coming home from my mom's house, and this just fell in front of us. There was a car just beyond us. We actually didn't see it fall, but I mean, it just happened just a and few we didn't minutes hear ago. It either. We, yeah, haha. -ha. <laughs> anyway, so Michelle, this is a bad area. Hold on a second. Let me get out. Wow, we're back home. And it feels so nice. It was 95 degrees down at my mom's this afternoon. We were moving all kind of stuff out of the sheds. And just working really hard. And it feels so nice up here. It's like low 80s right now. Cows are mooing in the distance. There's cars driving up the road making lots of noise now. But check out that sunset, guys. Just disregard the very loud motorcycle driving by very annoying very annoying <laughs> anyway yeah except for that motorcycle nice end to the evening or at least the day I am so tired right now Good morning, everyone. Actually, it's afternoon. Michelle and I are working on our basement here, doing some painting. And I did some caulking before we get ready to paint. We're doing all of our molding down here in the basement and the doors. Eventually, we were supposed to paint those doors last year. We never got around to it. This all needs to be primed before we paint that. I've already got the door off for Michelle to do that. No, I sanded the, down this lolly column here the other day, so we're gonna paint that the same color as the wall. I wanted to show you guys our theater. So this is it. It's a bit of a mess back there, but we have a 110 inch screen diagonally. I have two sets of Definitive Technology, I can't remember the model number, it's been a while since I bought these, but those are 10 inch speakers. And then we have a, a center channel, which also has a 10 inch speaker in it and some tweeters. That stand right there, I made that. Um, and back here for the projector, we have a Sony VPL VW 100, better known as the Ruby. This is a 2006 model Elkos projector. SXRD, I think is what Sony calls it. And we have a mess back here with our candy counter. I made this also. This is all lighted in here. We used to put candy in there, but we don't eat candy. So... <laughs> Oh, and uh, the other speakers back here, these are the definitive technology. These are bipolar surround speakers. So we have speakers here as well as in the back. There's a pair of those. And then our candy counter, this is what it looks like. It's a bit of a mess here. I do apologize. We're doing a lot of house renovations right now. <laughs> but anyway, we have a, a refrigerator freezer back there. There is our our four ounce popcorn popper. We also have another little portable one. 
for our audio system. Yeah, it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see this. Let me see if I can turn a light on a minute. Okay, it's not going to let me turn the light on on my light. I mean, on my phone. But anyway, we have a little microwave oven back there. And that's where we store our popcorn containers and cups for drinks. And then uh, we have, right now it's not in here, but we have our PS3 here for playing Blu-ray movies. Have a couple of shelves back here for other equipment as needed. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the theater. Oh, and we got this uh, Captain, uh, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. I was going to say Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, three-dimensional. This was a, a Blu-ray and DVD. No, I... Take that back. It's a DVD and PC DVD ROM uh, display from Walmart. And uh, we kind of snagged that up when they got rid of it. But I think it looks kind of cool behind the, the candy counter. Um, and in the theater, we have a bunch of different movie marquees from different movies. Got Star Wars. This is from one of Garrett's movies that he directed. And that is the artwork that we had done for it. It's pretty cool. Indiana Jones. So yeah, this is it. We have sconce lighting on the walls. And then we have pot lights on the top. And then on the front, which is not lit right now, we have some halogen. One of them is not lit at the moment. I have to get that fixed. But that kind of gives it an ambiance while you're just sitting here and there's nothing playing. And then as far as seating goes, uh, these are actual movie theater seats. Uh, they came out of a, a movie theater somewhere in the Midwest. I think it was either uh, Illinois or Indiana or something. But they were renovated and uh, or reconditioned. So it's pretty cool. Cup holders. And I think, yeah, this one doesn't flop back up. I got to fix that. And then the back seat here or back seats. These are, I think, Berkline theater recliners, and they're electric. Also got some storage here for various things. This is a, a Pronto Pro remote, which I never really finished, um, but it was... Uh oh, it's making noise. That can't be good. Why is it making noise? That was weird. It's still making noise. But anyway, um, I used to have all of the lights on remotes and everything, so you could turn the lights down when you hit play on the remote. So it was, it was kind of neat. No, it's, it's rebooting. And then you could, you could actually program this on your computer and make the interface however you wanted it. Uh, we've got some more storage over here. We have some old DVD movies in here. And then this back one, uh, I don't think there's anything in this one. Nope. But it's pretty cool. We like it. it does a really good job. The sound is great. Uh, the picture coming out of the Sony projector is amazing, even for being 16 years old now. Still does a great job. The only thing I would say about that is the bulbs are expensive. You figure on six to eight hundred dollars to replace a bulb in it. It's a Xeon bulb. It produces accurate light so that you get the best picture quality. Yeah, that's it. We did a dark color scheme in here to help reduce the reflection of light when everything is off, um, you know, from the screen. Uh, Two-tone, obviously. It's a matte finish so that it absorbs light. For the screen, we actually... <laughs> I wanted to replace this, um, I just have never gotten around to it. But this is actually just some molding that I got and I painted black. Um, and then the screen itself is a shower stall plastic. And the, the smooth side is on the other side. And this is kind of like the texture side. This is the side you would glue and apply to the wall if you were gonna use it for a shower. But it works really good for a screen. So anyway, that is it. We are going to Head down to the shed now to try to get some doors hung on that. By the way, that's where we did the live stream the other night, right there. So I will catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, guys. We got the doors hung on the shed. 
but there's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> but it's not really a big problem. Because there's a gap here with these hinges, I need to go get a router bit to route into this piece of wood and the doors so that we have the necessary clearance for the doors to close to do it on both sides. But anyway, I think it looks pretty good, except for that little problem. She's coming along. Well, we had to run out to Home Depot and Lowe's to get some extra parts. Yeah. We have like destroyed the day today. It's now 5.30. I wanted to get this vlog out today. But I don't know if that's going to happen because I have like at least two more hours of work to do. We'll see. I am really tired though. Yep. It's a beautiful day. 93 degrees and mostly sunny. And this will not white balance for me where the exposure is all messed up. Would you look at that? We got the doors on. It is time for some dinner. Michelle made some delicious chicken check that out what's in it dear chicken <laughs> salt pepper garlic basil what's on top i made a balsamic reduction a balsamic reduction from <laughs> a pre -made rachel ray <laughs> and we got some cream spinach mm, look at that I guess that's it. And there's mozzarella cheese melted on the top. Fresh mozzarella. It's kind of like a, what do you, a margarita chicken? Margarita chicken, yep. Is that what it's called? I have no I idea. Let's check it out and see. Very good. Mm -hmm. Let's try some of this cream spinach. Seems easy. Cream spinach. Focus. Doesn't want to focus. Just because it's spinach. Mmm, delicious. On the camera, this almost looks like cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> 